And I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I am a lot of times I will I will move an eye or anything. I'll move it a little bit because I w wasn't necessarily comfortable with with the way I was had it on there. But I notice I'll, sometimes I'll I'll make that move, and it doesn't look any, doesn't look right either. So then you have to say to yourself, okay, if that is not right, then there's got to be something else wrong with it. And so you go back. And you check, you know, you, you check other things that might be having some influence on it. I mean, if the eyes don't look right, that doesn't mean you, that you want to go and change the mouth, right? But you do want to look at all, all of the relationships that you have with your eyes, if they, if they look funny, uh, go back and check all of them. Maybe if this eye doesn't look right, it's possible that it's because this eye is not right. So you got to check that stuff. And to be honest with you, it sounds tedious and all that. But you know what? That's how you really learn to to uh, to be accurate in your observation. You know, um, by feeling that is is this just close? Am I am I painting? Is my painting just close to being right, or is it right? <coughs> And, you, and, and the more uh, important it is for you to be right about those things, the more you'll pay attention. And the more you'll also say, you know what, there's something wrong here. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play with it until I get it right. And so that's, that's all part of this process of painting, a, painting a, what you see. And some people may, may suggest, well, that takes that takes some of the spontaneity out of it, and that takes some of the art out of it. Well, that may be, but this is a good way to learn how to become a better observer of things. And as you become more practiced at it, the less you're going to have to fiddle around, and the easier it is for you, gonna, you to be able to, uh, to see clearly quicker, you know? I don't know if that makes any sense. It makes perfect sense to me. I'm darkening uh, this. One thing that, that uh, is important at this stage is even if you're in the drawing stage, you want the two eyes to sort of have the same colors be very close to being the same color because uh, sometimes it's just the color, if the color is too far off it makes the eye look wrong. It makes the eye look like it's in the wrong position when really it's just your eye playing tricks on you and, and it's, it's the color that, that is looking funny not necessarily the shape. Okay. So okay, I've got the eyeball and the uh, and the center black bit in there. Now I'm going to redo that highlight. Put the highlight in where I see it now, and I have a couple little reflections. Now again, I'll go back later on and I'll do these very, very uh, perfectly, but we're still. Oh, that looks pretty cool. I'll brighten that up a little bit more. Just take a little bit of that white color. Uh, <laughs> and when, when you're putting these little eye, these things in the eyes, they got to be right. <clears throat> Don't just throw something on there and, and hope that it's close. It's got to be just right. Yeah, it's looking better. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to... Uh, uh, this is looking better. Uh, 
Well, this is the sort of the end of this per this particular uh, this particular step. Uh, we'll pick it up again in a little bit.